friends and welcome to our next comic book haul. This is our comic book haul for the month of February. So most of the comics that we're going to be showing you today would have come out sometime in January or the first week of February. We're going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to start with um, The Kingsman. So um, I have hauled this one before. I have the entire series so far and this is part of um, the Red Diamond, and it is number five of six, so there's only one more of these left. All right, my first one is uh, The Simpsons, and this seems to be a mystery uh, slash riddle um, comic. You really can't go wrong with The Simpsons. These usually are um, alternative things that just don't make it to... Um, the cartoons. So the show, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make it to the show, but it does make it to a comic strip, so we don't really miss out on something that maybe just wasn't good enough for animation. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it actually plays off, like extends the story. Yes, that's very Most true. of the time that happens. What number was that, though? Uh, this one is number 242. Okay. All right, so my next one that I'm going to show is another one that is almost starting to wrap up, and this is The Power of the Dark Crystal. This is number 10 of 12, so I only have two more of these till I have the complete series. Um, I grew up with Jim Henson. I grew up with The Dark Crystal, so this comic is really, uh, really special to me. Good. Uh, my next one is Batman Detective, and what I'm hoping will happen here, I haven't actually cracked it open yet, but I'm hoping he'll actually solve mysteries and solve crimes instead of just randomly beating up people and you know <laughs> letting the justice system sort it out. So I'm hoping that he'll be less of a vigilante and more of a detective, but we shall find out. All right. And that's a number one. Okay. Um, my next one is Star Wars Adventures, and this is number six. I feel like I have missed a few of these that have come out because I feel like I only have about four. So I need to go back and look at my numbers, but I originally got this series because it is a kid-friendly version of Star Wars. And as uh, you guys know, I am a teacher, and so these are uh, ones that are approved for my classroom, so to speak. Um, my next one is Comic Book History, and this is a number two. Um, and this is extending off of the gaps that um, the first series did not quite get. And um, this one is going to be talking about the British Invasion of Comics, um, 1825 to 2006. Once again, it's a huge spread, but uh, the first series was the um i you know the top of the iceberg the general history that kind of thing and now we're clearing up uh stuff that they maybe had missed before and that is number two right mm -hmm. okay um this is also number two this is rocco's modern life so this is the second rocco's modern life i grew up with this show so it's just really amazing you know rocco actually worked at a comic book store so, uh, co uh, Rocco's Modern Life being a comic book is just perfect. I remember he used to freak out if people flipped the corners of the pages and things like that. He used to freak him out. <laughs> you remember that? Anyway, so uh, Rocco's Modern Life, and that is number two. Um, my next one is going to be uh, Rick and Morty, and this is number 34. Um... I got the Rick and Morty um, one where it was kind of like Pokemon. Yeah, uh, Pocket know. something, I think it was called. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And I don't, I don't remember the exact name yeah. off the top of my head. Anyways, but this actually follows a different storyline than the other one. And it apparently is going to deal with um, Chrombopolis Michael because of the cover. So I'm pretty excited to read this one and see what happens to him in this. All right, guys, my next one is the second um, Jim Henson's uh, Fairies. It's the Storyteller series in this particular 
so, uh, storyteller series is of the fairies. And I'm really excited about this series, guys. It's only one of four, so there's only going to be two more in this series. But just take a look at the animals and stuff in the background. Um, I'm very fond of, like, woodland animals and stuff, so I really like that, uh, that cover there. All right, my last one is Star Trek uh, Boldly Go, and this is issue number 16. Um, and this is going to be one of those where over the summer or over a long holiday, I'm just going to binge read all of them. I haven't, had, this is, um, I like Star Wars from childhood. Star Trek. I'm sorry, Star Trek. Yep. I'm, I'm Star Wars. Here's I'm, Star Trek. I'm so you used know. <laughs> to, you know, saying something about Star Wars here lately because of all the um, recent movies coming out and such. But anyways, childhood fan of Star Trek, and this is going to be one of those that I just binge over the summer. So mm -hmm. I look forward to making like a review video whenever I get to that. And that is the second Star Trek series that you've had. The other one, I believe, is already finished, is it not? I'm not sure. I can't remember what that one was called, but I remember you were reading another Star Trek series as well. Yes. And I think it might be over. All right, so the next two that I got are ones that I just picked up this one time. Um, they're not ones that I've subscribed to yet. Um, well, I take that back. I did subscribe to Casper, but this is a different Casper. Um, so I had to get it too. Um, so I'm not sure what makes this one different than the series that I subscribed to, but I guess we'll see. I know the other one was Casper and Wendy, and this is Casper, and I believe his name is Hot Stuff, if I'm not mistaken. I know that's what his old diaper always said. Um, but he's like the little devil that's from the same world as Casper and Wendy and such. So, um, I'm excited for that one. But this next one, I am really excited for, guys. This is Back to the Future, and it is Tales from the Time Train. So, this one has to do with the time-traveling train. Um, and if you look real closely, you can see that, like, it looks like Marty McFly is down here at the bottom. It might not be him. I'll have to read just to see. But I'm really excited about this one. It is a number one. So hopefully I'll be subscribing uh, to this one as well so I can get the whole series. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about that one. So what do you think? What was your favorite uh, favorite one from this time? I sort, sort of shared it as far as finding the Casper one. But. Um, as far as like a find or looking forward to read? Looking forward to read. Um, cause really but, the only new find that you got was the Batman one. Yeah. So this is definitely my favorite find, of uh, this past trip and the most I'm looking forward to, believe it or not, and this is probably the history teacher coming out in me, but comic book history. I love the first series. Mm -hmm. I love the second series. I cannot get enough of it. And I hope that they just keep coming out with series filling in the various things that they missed along the way because I just, I can't get enough of um, this history. Yeah, and I, I, I would agree with that for you because uh, of all the different ones that you get, whenever you get a new one of those, you always go ahead and crack it open right away. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree with that one for you. So that does it, guys, for our comic book haul for February. It's a pretty large haul. I think I had three, four, five six seven and so that means that you have like five or six five five yeah so we had quite a few comics to share with you this week guys um uh, i look forward to next month and we will see you then bye bye oh do you see the kitty like her little ears were just sticking up the whole time but not her miss kitty likes to join us for the comic book calls it seems <laughs> all right guys well we'll see you next time bye bye